All right, welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service here in Central Washington. My name's Todd, and today we have a, uh, I think this is a 1100 in Memphis, 1100D amplifier that is in for repair. And today's video, I wanted to go over the joys of bipolar capacitors. So this amplifier uses uh, two 100 microfarad, 160 volt bipolar, nonpolar electrolytic capacitors in the output section, which, oh, sorry, wrong one. Yes. So this amplifier uses uh, two 200 volt, 33 microfarad, non-polar, bipolar electrolytic capacitors, which as you can see, bulged out the top, so it had to be replaced, which you can't find these capacitors very easily. So this uses uh, one, two, three, four, uh, 96 forties and two 31 and 20 D's in the output section here. Just as a note, this third 31 and 20 is intentionally left blank at the, uh, from the manufacturer. So I have replaced the bipolar capacitors with some SC 47 microfarad 250 volt electrolytic capacitors with the output filtering section you kind of you have a little bit of leeway when it comes to your filtering and what i am looking for when filtering is of course noisy signals uh, if you don't have the right output filtering of course it's not going to work right but i have found that these 1100s do work quite well with the 47 microfarad capacitor which is really close to their 33 microfarad original capacitors that's why i use them uh, they do fit upright in the amplifier it does not touch the cover as a matter of fact they're still quite a bit shorter than the rail capacitors that are touching the cover which feels like somebody has pushed this down i'm not sure uh, but I digress. And of course, you, you have to glue them quite well after you install them this way because you don't want them to vibrate off the board because it'll snap the leg right at the base. Uh, but otherwise, it did have shorted transistors in both sides, in both output cards. It had shorted output transistors probably from when the bipolar capacitors i'm going to assume they're shorted i'm not sure yeah let's find out um i'm pretty sure that we probably have a failed capacitor well being bulged like that they probably all vented off so of course discharge the capacitor which i these have not been powered up for a couple weeks so we're good on that my new transistor tester here thirty one microfarads it's still reading thirty one microfarads hey not bad at thirty three bulged up so it got hot started you know build up a little bit of gas pressure in there which I would still replace regardless anyways Anytime I see a bulge capacitor, capacitors get replaced. And this one here is 31 microfarads. Again, bulged at the top. It's kind of hard to see that, but 
you, they're really evident when they're bulged up. So I think it's a good thing to go up to a 250 volt capacitor, in my opinion. Um, it does give a little bit more headroom when it comes to people driving the amplifiers into, you know, just some massive clipping or crazy low impedances uh, that really wreck havoc on these electrolytics. Uh, nowadays, the, a lot of amplifiers will use uh, film capacitors. So they uh, they step away from these electrolytic bipolar capacitor that you just can't find. Uh, so I do have a small collection that I do keep around. 250 volt, 10 microfarad. Uh, the uh, 100 microfarad, 160 volt. Um, I have some 10 microfarad. 250 volt or 200 volt um, I've got some by bi other bipolars coming in of course you have to order these from overseas so that's kind of what I wanted to go over today for this particular amplifier that you can get away with using the 47 microfarad 250 volt uh, bipolar or what they call non-polar capacitors which you can find uh, online through your good old typical auction sites. There is a seller there uh, that uh, is a radio person that carries uh, a limited supply of bipolar capacitors. So uh, when you find a source like that, keep them in your pocket because you're going to need them in the future. Uh, so this does have a 50 hertz sine wave going in it does have a very clean sine wave coming out so again another amplifier done and slightly modified so just as a future reference for anyone that's looking into these memphis 1100ds that have the shorted output section you do have options for the bipolar capacitors right now that doesn't mean in the future from the time that this is released but as of right now you can fit in some bipolar capacitors that still work great with this amplifier. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay safe out there. Uh, keep your fingers out of the high voltage rails. This this rail isn't bad at all, so this one I'm not really worried about. Uh, but the big boys, please stay safe. Keep your fingers out of there. Until then, leave your comments down below. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.